Welcome back to part two of our super technocratic Germany campaign. So in today's video, ladies and gentlemen, we are not only going to be expanding our empire, we are going to be expanding our technocratic ideology across the world. And I'm not going to lie, no better way than doing it on the United States of America, because we do need a future ally. And I don't think Great Britain is going to be friends with us for a very long time. So first things first is we can't really go around expanding our ideology until we kind of have enough territory in Europe. Now, obviously, the French do have some territory like Alsace Lorraine, but we also have some extra territories that I do want to expand to by protecting out Switzerland and the Low Countries and then also you know, basically bringing Sweden into our empire because, you know, Sweden, well, they kind of need us. I mean, why not? Am I, am I right, Sweden? And they also got Norway. So, you know, why the heck not? So, obviously, we are currently trying to fix our bureaucracy we have unrealized taxes of about 88.8 thousand uh we're also spending additional money on uh, developing can openers which is uh subsidizing about eighteen thousand dollars into railways uh and then we've got a bunch more taking a look at our institutions we do have to upgrade a lot um obviously our colonial affairs as well because we did grab the german south africa i don't know if i ended up showing that uh, in the last video uh but yeah get a little bit of a just German South Africa down at the bottom. So, I mean, our empire is only just beginning. And obviously, we're enacting cultural exclusion. You know, since taking a look at our empire, yeah, now we got a lot of cultures uh, around us. Um, and well, you know, we got we want to be quite accepting to a lot. I mean, a lot. Uh, we got to see Albanian, Icelandic, Armenian, Dutch. A lot of these are our primary cultures. So obviously, we want that to stay. North Italian. Oh, well, they, yeah, no, they hate us. Oh my God. 78%. Wow. There's more than likely we're going to get a revolt down there. And yeah, that's not really going to be so fun, is it? Okay. So. So I think we're going to start off with a opening play to protectorate ne the Netherlands. Now, the Netherlands is actually a uh, absolute monarchy, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, uh, obviously, I can't really do an ideology change on them, which does suck. So, good King Wilhelm von Orange. Hey, of Nassau. Um, <laughs> look at him. He's got a little ginger son. Hey, that kind of looks like me, just not so um, weird looking. All right. So, we might as well keep going. All right. Time to send in the Garda Corps. I mean, we ha I have been working on this division for a little bit now um so oh and the united states got involved oh boy and what did they is the netherlands uh they got swayed with a trade agreement that's crazy um a treaty port oh yeah that's that, that's nice to <laughs> bully everyone um yeah we might as well call in our ally great britain um i mean we might as well show the united states not to you know meddle in uh our affairs and obviously i'm gonna go for a humiliation play on the united states and we've also so got 111 troops down here as well. So uh, admin defense. I might as well get about three generals. Oh, wow, we got a lot of defensive generals here. Uh, innovative. Yeah, I guess we'll have them at that. Um, kind of just upgrade them a little bit. There we go. Beautiful. And then we have our huge navy here as well, which is going to do numbers. Um, so that's going to be great to see, obviously. Um, and I don't think the United States is going to be able to really get far. I mean, they do have their troops over, but I, I it's going to be, yeah, mobile artillery, skirmish. And then here we are with shrapnel skirmish with a lot of lances. Uh, I honestly feel like this is going to be an absolute killjoy, really. We've even got monitors as well, and we're going to now start upgrading our frigates into monitors. Um, and they're <laughs> on the offensive. <laughs> And yeah, there we go. All right. Well, that is going to be the Dutch all handled. We can even get an obligation over Portugal, but um, I ra I'd rather stay out of Iberian affairs, to be honest with you. Um, but you know, Britain's kind of got their hands full. I mean, well, to be honest, uh, we've oh my god, look, I think yeah, they I think they're trapped. <laughs> We've got a uh, wonderful... Okay, we also got a really... Uh, we turned Netherlands into a protectorate, and now it's time to go after the United States. Because, you know, the US is not safe. Obviously, I'm going to be sending our 10th German army, uh, and we're going to go straight in on their capital. Uh, really going for what we need, and um, we really need... Oh, man, I keep forgetting that I really built up our fleet. And, oh, wow, they are calling for a white piece. That's that's cute. That's real cute, guys. Okay, done. 
does kind of... It's not looking too good. Uh, and, okay, now, for research, I think... Yeah, I think we're going to go down civilizing mission and then military. Uh, we could grab bolt action rifles production method. I do also really want to grab military uh, statistics uh, and electric telegraph because we do get uh, 25% war exhaustion from casualties, which is absolutely huge. But you know what? So we'll accept this peace deal for now. Uh, we kind of got everything that we need. Um, we managed to obviously return German Wallonia to us, which is great. And then we also now have the Netherlands underneath the German Empire. All right, still trying to fix up uh, this massive bureaucracy deficit of building like a lot of government administrations, about three pages worth. Okay, now it's time to go after the Swiss. I mean, take a look at that infamy again. I don't, oh, we might just wait a little bit um and then i think we'll actually do a regime change on switzerland as well and then i think once we go for switzerland uh we'll we will return alslas rain and i think obviously we'll try and protect red belgium um just trying to expand the german borders as much as possible you know okay so uh taking a look at uh sweden uh you know good old norway's in a little bit of a revolt and uh they're willing to give up norway uh, which is perfect. I mean, I wouldn't mind a little bit of uh, Norway as a part of my German empire, you know? Oh, man, we're real. I feel like I'm following, like, a real consistent path here. Okay, but yeah, so again, mainly got to try and upgrade our institutions, like our health system to increase our standard of living. Uh, I mean, yeah, highest economic power. I mean, we are quickly making recovery, which is great. Um, but yeah, uh, we do want to do all that. And then I also really want to upgrade our innovation, but I, I think our in a uh, limit I think we are actually capped out. We are generating max innovation. And uh, yeah, I think we've capped out at the moment, which is a bit terrible. Um, but so yeah, that's why we got to upgrade our education as best as we can. And that's why we got to try. And there's a Danish peasant revolt starting against us. That is. And we've also got the Red Scare. The rise of the communist regime in Denmark. <laughs> Oh my god. You know what? Yeah, fair enough. Is this... Wait, is this... Wait, this is communist Denmark. Okay. Um, well, uh, I don't... I, I genuinely don't know what to say to that. Well, I guess I'm just gonna put you down, I guess. And then we have a North Italian secession as well. Uh, very nice. Very, very nice. Oh, we've even managed to trigger the great hunger. Oh, yikes. Okay, that is definitely not good. Anyways, we've managed to cross the Venetian succession which is amazing we got some shortage uh, of goods all <laughs> everywhere probably because there's no railways um but we managed to secure our bureaucracy which is kind of all that matters it looks like the dutch east indies is willing to transfer over Punjab. <laughs> I mean, yeah, sure. I mean, you can do that yourself. Like, don't get me wrong. Um, Sweden, in oh no, you wanna you wanna join in? That's listen, buddy. You you gave up your uh, your you gave up Norway. I I, th I honestly. I don't know why you did that. Okay, I did not realize this. I mean, France is currently fighting a communist revolution. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, man. Most of my generals are dead as well. That is not fun. Okay, well, Star Wars Defender. Gonna have one of those guys in there. An ETH ethno nationalist? Oh, wow. That is a new ideology. I've not seen that one. The leader believes a nation defined on ethnic grounds. That is crazy. That you believe in that so um wow okay well i'm gonna just sit here um kind of it's even more of a mess okay so i managed now to reduce the netherlands autonomy into being a dominion which is amazing um so yeah we uh, still the dutch east indies but it's now looking a bit more like of a little bit of our color which is nice and we also got good old norway here now i'm just gonna keep them in a personal union uh, obviously now uh good old sweden uh we still Still disproving relations with them and i'm telling you now uh i don't think the french republic is gonna be lasting any longer so now that our infamy's kind of gone down just a little 
even got seal frame buildings, which is nice. Um, now that our infamy's kind of got down a little bit, um, I still want to take a look at the innovation. Again, yeah, we are limited to a maximum of 141 innovation cap, which is annoying. Uh, but I guess now it is time for us to unify the lowlands uh, by making a... By, I guess, returning uh, Wallonia. But uh, no, to be honest, no, we'll just protect it. Uh, Belgium, uh, really no need to go after anything else. Now, obviously, we do have the Russians uh, not so happy with this. So I do hope people stay out of it for now. Um, even though I think we, we can obviously take on... Oh, the Ottoman Empire. Okay, trade agreement broken with the Russians. But they are not here. Uh, you know... <laughs> Belgium's, Belgium's war goals not to expand, but no, no, no. To humiliate the Netherlands. Okay. Oh, wow. We got two Sicilies and the Ottomans. They've been swayed in here with a sway scheme, which is actually quite funny. Um, obviously, I'm going to have to protect uh, my southern border. Uh, allow borrowing and lending troops. All right. So for supply, obviously, I'm going to have them have luxurious supplies um, because I just want to see how far. I want to see. See, uh, another thing I really like about this is I really do want to test out uh, the, the mobilization um, options. Now, obviously, turning these on, uh, they're going to be permanently. Obviously, we don't really have machine guns because, well, we need to invest into automatic machine guns. Um, and then, I guess, we'll have tobacco as recovery fuel for our army. But, yeah, now, this th this one army alone, the Arcade Corps, yikes. That's all I have to really say about that one. I'm going to send our 15th German army to this front over here. They're going to need a our boys over here going to need a a little bit of help and kind of just mobilize our northern oh and we actually now have the french commune this game is just getting more and more strange by the minute so i guess me and france are going to be natural enemies uh, obviously we'll, we'll go ahead declare our, our rivalry on them and um oh yeah we are very strong <laughs> Very, very strong. All right, so yeah, I, I'm trying to... I'm hoping this guy can do well on the... Oh, wow. Yeah, he is loved. 85%, and he's also scarred, which gave him that extra 10% buff. That's that's nuts. Um, Okay, and it, yeah, I think... Yeah, Belgium is finally faltering here, which is good to see. All right, man. Uh, Yeah, our Navy is genuinely unmatched for now. I mean, obviously, the British Navy could probably... I mean, oh, wow. Oh, my God. Got 710 enemy convoy. Look at look at the convoys I'm sinking. <laughs> Um, oh boy. Oh, yikes. Uh, yay, we now have the Lowlands is in our, uh, beautiful, um, empire, uh, which is great. Uh, obviously, good old Bremen there. I, I will be back for Bremen, trust me. It's just, um, I I'll only go for Bremen after we're done fighting with the UK. Oh, oh my days, we can build so much oil. Oh my god, the, the amount of oil we got alone is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Yikes. Okay. Um, well, yeah, we're in a bit of a, uh, you know, good place at the moment. So I think it's now time that I, I think we can, you know, get, max some of these construction sectors out. Um, why the heck not? I mean, we might as well at this point. Okay. I also really need to get to houseware plastics, wherever that is. I really hope not triggerless. Oh, here we go. Plastics. Right there. It's going to take us three years to uh, grab, but that's okay. We'll grab it after our defense in the depths, um, and then we should be pretty good to go after that, really. Okay, so what's our steel shortage at this point? Uh, oh, wow. Yeah, we're not that bad on steel. We're just really bad on glass, like terribly bad on glass. That is, yeah, that is awful. I mean, our line is doing much, much better. We've even grabbed human rights. Cool. You know, this game's been great so far. You know, we've had like a couple wars and stuff, but you know, mostly dealing with your petty rebels and drunken brawls, if you know what I'm saying, you know? You know, Denmark is uh, kind of outliving its usefulness. I mean, I don't know why I still have them here at this point. I mean, they just keep rebelling and making life much more annoying. I uh, honestly, uh, I uh, really don't know how to put it, you know? Like, I mean, we got to try to fix up this uh, <laughs> little problem down here in the Nama Cape Colony. Uh, I don't, I still don't know how I, uh, I don't even know how that even happened. It's so odd. And then I've got to build so many ports in these air like our colonies 
and for out Oceania. See how it is? See, me and Britain, we have a weird relationship at the moment. You know, it's kind of like a little bit of a back and forth at this point. I mean, I really don't know how to describe it. Oh, this would have been... Oh, my God. Yeah, Mexico, I'm so sorry. You're screwed. <laughs> Uh, I don't know how I don't know how to put it any other way, Chief. I mean, uh, yeah, I don't think you're gonna be doing too good, you know. So, um, our infamy is literally non-existent, and it is now time for us to go after the Swiss. And obviously, we're gonna be sending in the big boys right now, uh, which is gonna be great. And I don't think anybody is gonna. Yeah, I don't really think anybody's gonna protect Switzerland. Uh, I feel bad for the Swiss. <laughs> oh, Switzerland. Um, yeah. I mean, for, you know, being like, I mean, I'm surprised Italy actually hasn't unified yet. Like, that is quite a big one. Uh, now that I really put my finger on it, I mean, now that we're getting all of this here, uh, we're about, I'm hoping we can get houseware plastics. We might as well grab malaria, uh, malaria prevention. Oh my god, wait, I don't actually have homesteading. What the heck? <laughs> You know what's funny? There's actually a lot of laws that I uh, have not really considered. Uh, professional army. See, I might want to go mass conscription, but see, mass conscription, uh, 100 barracks. Uh, wow, 1,145 battalions can be mobilized. The only person that can do that is the trade units. Everyone else is kind of like a big no-no on that. So, um, you know, max out, get some fertilizers. And uh, yeah, the Switzerland has been conquered. Very nice. Nice. I didn't even notice that. Well, um, yeah, well, everything is just getting worse and worse by the minute. Can I reduce? Yes, I can reduce the autonomy of the Netherlands. But now, um, yeah, I got to stop you from, well, reaching your potential. And that's going to give me a lot more infamy. But uh, that's fine. I'm really to take on 40 infamy, of course, because, well, you know, I'm willing to expand a lot of things, uh, obviously. So let's go right ahead, merge you. And I... Who, oh, France decided to get involved, eh? <laughs> uh, oh, well, Russia wants the Netherlands. Sway with them with a transfer state? What state would they want? Uh, I, I guess if that's the case, uh, I'm also going to have to work on our mobilization here. Extra supplies, luxurious supplies, yes. Oh, the French commune abandoned Sweden. Never mind. The, uh, oh, the ra fascist Fran Man, France is going through a life cycle. It's like it's evolving. Like, it's, it's just, it's just evolving, you know? Dude, France is just going for its own little life cycle at the moment, you know? <laughs> Oh, shit. Okay. Um, uh, and we can now turn Sweden into a protectorate. And oh my god, we are making bank right <laughs> <laughs> oh my days. Well, I'm going to call it there for today, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so yeah, I mean, so far, pretty good video. We managed to grab the Netherlands, Belgium, Switzerland, all Dominion and puppeted. And then we later on will be able to Dominion Sweden in about 17 months, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 17 months. Um, so yeah, I might do a part three. Uh, if you guys want me to do a part three, if we can get this video to 100 likes, then yeah, we'll do a part three and uh, basically wrap up this campaign. Um, but yeah, once again, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Look and subscribe, and be so inside as well. Like and subscribe, you got until the end of the video. Fine, I'll come over there and tickle your feet. Ah!